Hey guys, it's Shar with ASMR Shar Positive Energy. And it's been, it feels like a long time since um, I posted a video or even was on camera. It's been a little, um, it's just been a lot, of, I've had a lot of work and visitors and just a lot of things happening. Um, it's just a lot of big shifts, like I'm not sure what I'm doing with this channel or the next channel completely at the moment. I'm kind of focusing on other things right now, but I, I do miss recording and I miss you guys. Um, so I'm going to do a quick hello and then a little reading for this full moon in Scorpio. And it's the full me, lunar eclipse, which is some seriously intense energy. Scorpio is that a deep, deep emotion feeling um, like everything was coming to the surface too with the lunar eclipse full moon. So it's like a good time to do with shadow work, I've heard, and also just really good time to release anything that's really been deeply seated within you, almost like feeling like a part of you in your subconscious, trying to be aware of that, letting it come to the surface. And release if it's time for you to release that it could be a thought pattern um, an attitude in a relationship a relationship itself or um, you know what you're eating your health any way you're looking or thinking about yourself um, could be job related anything like that so it's a good time to kind of it's really kind of deep diving and um, I've heard one of the best advice I, advices advices <laughs> some of the best advice I've heard is in general to surf the wave like ride the wave of emotion and energy rather than trying to control it fight against it try to take a deep breath and ride with that wave so I'm going to do a reading and I may so I'm kind of all over the place I may do a right with me this is a right with me I'll put it in the title so I'm feeling very called oh my gosh I'm going to use the shamanic shot rattle mercury retrograde oh my gosh oh um, I'm going to use this rattle to kind of clear the energy before we're doing the breathing possibly writing I wanted to do a little a mini announcement that I am officially Reiki 1 certified right now and I'm so so excited about that um yeah I'm excited and we're going to be doing Reiki 2 certification and then Reiki 3 um, I'll probably stop there because Reiki 4 is when you get into teaching others Reiki at the moment I'm just seeing myself as a Reiki practitioner not just because it's a lot I think that um so I'm really excited. I'm officially Reiki 1 certified. I can do Reiki on myself and others. Um, and I'm going to be doing a POV, point of view, Reiki session as a certified Reiki practitioner. Um, I'm going to do one of those really calming POVs. Um, just maybe just a basic energy cleanse soon. So without further ado. Let's just take some breaths and try to cleanse your energy with this beautiful shamanic seed rattle. Try to move your breath. Try your energy flowing and moving. Down the back of each leg, down your spine as well. Mm 
enjoy it on your right. Enjoy it on your left. Echo on the right. Echo on the left. Right foot and toes. Left foot and toes. Taking that energy up and it move, moving and not stagnate. doing a little card reading. I'll shift the perspective of the everyday witch. I'm learning tarot still, so, and I think we're going to pull a moonology card, possibly Sacred Forest deck. We'll see if I'm called to do that. So, I'll shift the perspective now. Alright guys, so, I'm actually, I don't know why, but I'm not actually going to do the everyday witch tarot. I'm going to do moonology and Sacred Forest these are already shuffled. Um, I don't know why. I just was guided to literally not do the discovery. Um, every day, which I was thinking of the novel Discovery of Witches, which is really good, by the way. Any messages for anybody watching through time and space? Whether it's the Lunar Eclipse Week, May 5th, through the following Friday, or... or anytime you're watching this thank you so much spirit divine spirit guides Ooh, that one's like there's a bunch I'm gonna see Communication is key. <laughs> I love that because it's Mercury retrograde, of course. And this is New Moon in Gemini. Gemini's are very good at communicating, generally speaking. Um, and and it's true of all the Gemini's I know. Um, communication is key. Just be mindful of how you're communicating with others, especially during Mercury retrograde. Um, if you're feeling frustrated or angry, maybe. Uh, step away for a moment get some space and think things through before you kind of think before you speak um, and just be extra mindful of um, your communications with others and that includes communication with yourself so make sure you're being kind and as gentle as possible to yourself and it's okay don't feel guilty if you catch yourself being negative um, negative self talk towards yourself or other people. That's okay. Just be like, okay, you know, I'm aware of that. Let me try and change that and replace that with something more positive or just, um, yeah, with a positive, um, like be aware of it and feel it and then maybe try to change that with some affirmations. I love that. So, and then this one is adjustments are required third quarter moon third quarter moon adjustments are required this could be in any aspect of your life so I'm trying to get it to focus um, whether that's career relationships spiritual journey finances 
um, whatever it is bringing true for you that somewhere in your life possibly more than one place one sort of category as it were adjustments are required that change try to embrace that change and especially if you're watching this in the full moon in Scorpio or lunar eclipse time it's time possibly to release release things so that you can change and that adjustment could be releasing an old thought pattern relationship job attitude that you have towards money for me definitely a way of financial handling that I need to change um, whatever rings true for you adjustments are required so that you can blossom into um, I don't like to I don't like to say better version of yourself but more maybe authentic version more joy and these are the sacred forest oracle I mean, these are already shuffled so many messages Spirit, thank you so much tree spirit especially i'm calling in this tree spirit from the green the beautiful green green tree spirit many messages Two in this one as well. Oh, Mystic Meadow Sanctuary. Yep, I love this one. It's time for some of you to, if you're able to even just 10 minutes away from people or more than that, to have that sanctuary to yourself, even in another room, to sort of reflect inward deeply right now and maybe do a meditation practice yoga stretching and um, going out into the woods or nature if you can right now it's really really hot here in Texas and I've been really missing going outside lately because it's too hot honestly for me um, but if you are able to and it's not scorching hot like here um, you can get into the woods or even like I'm doing here I sit next to the window and can get some of that nature energy and just sit with your thoughts and emotions and meditate kind of going inward to work on anything that you might need to work on or release or just be aware of inside and then we have this is Elves Playfulness. Elves for Playfulness. And I'm getting to stick, get in touch with your inner child. Um, that might be a good, actually, that goes really well with this. It can have that very serious sort of self reflection. Oh, and another thing with this one, the sanctuary, I'm getting a sense of maybe changing up your decoration a little maybe even in the corner of a room where you like to sit and meditate or adding a different kind of twinkle lights or moving the furniture or adding a plant or something some crystals um but this one has a more serious vibe to me kind of like self-reflect going deep diving into that self-reflection and then after doing that i think it's a very good idea to embrace your inner child and don't think don't take things as seriously as maybe you were with reflection right so then sort of have that lighter spirit afterwards with elves and playfulness go outside go inside play a board game card game video game um watch a fun like kids movie or a movie that makes you just laugh and like lighten that mood up sort of have that um uh 
you know, if you can't play with actual kids, that can always help bring out your own inner child or just get in touch with your own inner child. And remember to have that playfulness and that joy of life. And yeah, I think that's, that's really um, all the card readings I have for today. And um, I'm not actually going to do the writing right now. Um, I do want to show you <laughs> really quick. Ooh, let me see if I can get the light. Uh, I was guided to get this from another person's video. Um, oh, what's your... I can't remember. I'll put a link. Chris... No, not Crystal Wis Wisdom. Something Wisdom. I can't think of her name. Oh my gosh. But she's, um... This, some of the crystals and cards. And I did a pick a card for this week. And I've never heard of this. It's Snowflake Obsidian. And it's just beautiful. Um, the Snowflake Obsidian, which I never heard of. It's got these sort of natural little white spots, like little snowdrops. And I love snow, and I really miss snow. <laughs> um, again, we don't have snow here much in Texas, but... Um, yeah, I think this is so, so beautiful. And it's supposed to be really good at helping you kind of go with the flow and release things. Among, I'm sure, other things I want to look at more. Alright, so I have that. Citrine. Very uplifting, sunny, beautiful Yellowstone. And Celestite. Very heavenly celestial stone. Connecting with the astral um, plane, the angels. And last but not least, some Amethyst. One of my favorites. I love raw stones, actually. Um, probably my favorite. Have a beautiful full moon and lunar eclipse. Remember, just try to ride the waves, ride the emotional waves, and instead of fighting it, fighting it or resisting, just try to ride with it. All right, and I will hopefully see you again with a Reiki One certified <laughs> um, video, a POV video next week. Have a beautiful high vibe day.